Are we truly alone in the cosmos? The scientific establishment often insists we are, yet 95% of the universe remains dark matter and dark energy, a testament to our profound ignorance. Now, something has entered our solar system that forces us to question that conservative dogma. Something extraordinary has just been found far beyond the reach of any human spacecraft, an object drifting silently through the void, glowing faintly as if it were alive. NASA's latest uh, high-resolution data shows something inside this visitor from another star, something geometric, deliberate, and unlike anything nature, in my assessment, has ever built. Uh, the object is called 3, I divided by Atlas, the third interstellar body ever recorded entering our solar system. But this time, it's different. Um, because what scientists just uncovered on its surface could change everything we know about what's natural and what isn't. It all started when uh, the Pan-STARRS Observatory in Hawaii, along with telescopes in Chile and Spain, uh, picked up faint pulses from an object entering the outer edge of our solar system. At first it looked like any other interstellar traveler, called rocky and small. But as it came closer, passing through the orbit of Jupiter, the reflected sunlight revealed something that made astronomers stop everything. Uh, three, I divided by Atlas, wasn't tumbling randomly like most space rocks. Instead, its surface appeared to rotate in precise intervals, almost mechanical. The light curve showed sharp, consistent spikes. That kind of rotation is frankly impossible for a naturally shaped asteroid. It was too symmetrical, too even too engineered. When NASA's James Webb Space Telescope zoomed in, the mystery deepened. Using its infrared sensors, it detected complex temperature variations across the object's surface, geometric temperature patterns forming hexagonal grids, repeating triangles, and spirals. They weren't random craters or ice fractures. They were mathematical, ordered, purposeful. The data didn't make sense. In nature, chaos is the rule. Craters scatter randomly, ice fractures unevenly. But here, on an object from another solar system, every major feature aligned to ratios found in geometry. The same mathematical relationships that define honeycombs, snowflakes, and galaxies NASA scientists were stunned. One researcher whispered what no one dared to say aloud. This doesn't look natural. They began mapping the light reflections into 3D, layering each observation across time. What emerged was jaw-dropping. The geometric features seemed to form an interconnected lattice, like a vast network of panels or segments. It resembled something between a Dyson fragment and a cosmic antenna catching energy from starlight itself. Let us be clear about the scientific implication. When we see order, we must ask, what is the source of that order? Is it a simple physical law, like crystallization, or is it information? The patterns on three I divided by Atlas are not simple crystals. They are complex and hierarchical, suggesting a high degree of embedded information. This is the very definition of a technosignature. We are not looking at a rock, we are looking at architecture. If this were an ordinary asteroid, its surface would be rough, chaotic, and scarred by impacts. But three, I divided by Atlas, reflected light with eerie precision, as if coated with a smooth metallic sheen. In some regions, the light even polarized, twisting in ways that suggested the interference patterns, um, like reflections from structured material, that's when uh, NASA scientists ran a polarization test to confirm the theory. The result, the light scattering wasn't consistent with rock or ice. It matched thin layered crystalline alloys materials capable of manipulating light waves used on Earth in photonic technology. But how could something like that exist alone, drifting through interstellar space? This is where my own research converges with this new data. To understand the mystery, scientists compared it to known anomalies, like the strange acceleration of Oumuamua in 2017 
which some theorists, including myself, once speculated could be a probe, a light sail, or a fragment of alien technology. The scientific community rushed to find a natural explanation, proposing exotic icebergs or dust clouds, explanations that require more assumptions than the artificial hypothesis. But 3i divided by Atlas is behaving even more strangely. Its speed fluctuates ever so slightly, as if something beneath its surface is adjusting its trajectory. Tiny pulses of acceleration that no known natural process can explain what could cause that. Some say it could be trapped gas vents, the standard conservative explanation. Others, however, whisper a word that still feels forbidden in scientific circles, artificial. Let's step back for a moment. Imagine billions of years ago, a civilization far older than ours, perhaps one that reached its technological peak before Earth even cooled from its molten youth. Such a civilization facing extinction or exploring eternity might have built something extraordinary. Autonomous probes seeded across the galaxy to record, to learn, to remember. What if 3i divided by Atlas is one of those relics? a fragment of their legacy, still drifting, still functioning, waiting for another intelligence to find it, when researchers at the Harvard Center for Astrophysics, my own colleagues, examined the structural patterns, they noticed something uncanny. Many of the geometric ratios match the Fibonacci sequence, a pattern uh, found everywhere from DNA spirals to galaxies. The same ratio that determines how petals arrange on a flower seemed etched into the very form of three I divided by Atlas. It was as if whoever or whatever designed it used the language of the cosmos itself. But here's the twist. These shapes weren't just visible in structure. They were embedded in light. The object wasn't just reflecting sunlight. It was modulating it like a mirror sending coded flashes across space. NASA's optical data confirmed bursts of light reflecting at uniform intervals, microsecond level timing variations too regular to be caused by random sunlight flickers. This wasn't chaos. It was communication. When the data was analyzed, those pulses corresponded to geometric progressions, light patterns that translated mathematically into ratios and symmetry to a human eye, it was beautiful. To a scientist, it was impossible. NASA's decoding software couldn't translate the sequence into language. It wasn't text or audio. It was architecture, a message written in geometry. As uh, one physicist uh, described, um, it's as if the object is speaking in shapes using the structure of the universe itself as a medium. The deeper the analysis went, the more shocking the evidence became. JWST sensors picked up faint electromagnetic fluctuations emanating from 3i divided by Atlas, synchronized with its geometric light flashes. It was broadcasting faintly, steadily, at frequencies aligned with hydrogen's resonance line. That's the same universal frequency uh, scientists use when sending interstellar messages, the one we assume any intelligent species would recognize, uh, this wasn't random coincidence anymore. Every data point, every pulse, every geometric formation pointed toward intention. And so the unthinkable question arose. What if this is not an asteroid at all? Could it be an artifact, a vessel, a probe still active after millions of years transmitting signals that only now, as our instruments grow sensitive enough, we're beginning to notice this is the Copernican principle applied to technology. Just as we are not the center of the universe physically, we should not assume we are the center of it intellectually or technologically. To assume we are the only ones capable of sending probes is an act of profound arrogance. For many of you watching, this might feel familiar. That same awe you felt when Voyager 1 left our solar system carrying a golden record of our existence into the unknown. But imagine if another civilization had done the same, sending not a record, but a living object, a silent teacher moving from star to star, waiting for curious minds like ours. 
as 3i divided by Atlas drifts through the inner solar system, NASA continues to track it obsessively. Radar pings reveal subtle shifts, small surface oscillations that suggest internal structure. Not solid rock, not hollow space, but layers like armor or casing. Every new image reveals angles, curves, and edges that don't belong in nature. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency has proposed a bold idea to redirect one of their interplanetary probes to intercept 3i divided by Atlas during its outbound journey. A maneuver that could take years to plan, but might offer our first close-up encounter with something built beyond Earth. Yet, as NASA's latest report warns, time is running out. 3 I divided by Atlas is already accelerating, preparing to leave our solar system forever. And here's the haunting part. The geometric flashes are becoming less frequent, as though the object knows it's being observed and is preparing to go dark. For scientists who've spent their lives studying cold, silent rocks, this is something deeply unsettling. Objects don't respond to observation. They don't change when watched. But this one seems to. Every time telescopes lock on, the pulse intervals shift slightly, as if adjusting, reacting, maybe even acknowledging so what happens next? If this is a signal, do we respond? Do we risk sending a message back, knowing we might not understand what's listening? Perhaps the message isn't meant for us at all. Maybe it's a chain of communication across the stars, a message relayed endlessly through time, and we've just stumbled into the middle of it. Maybe we're not the intended recipient, just a species lucky enough to tune in before it moves on. If that thought gives you goosebumps, you're not alone. Because for the first time in modern history, humanity is facing something we can't classify. Not rock, not comet, not debris, something deliberate, something designed. And it forces us to confront a humbling possibility that we are not the first to reach for the stars. Think about it. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. The Earth only 4.5 billion, that's nearly 10 billion years, when other civilizations could have risen and fallen, building technologies beyond our comprehension. If just one of them sent out an object like 3, I divided by Atlas, it might still be out there, surviving long after its creators are gone a ghost ship of another age. So maybe this isn't about aliens watching us, maybe it's about legacy the cosmic echo of intelligence trying to outlive time. And perhaps in that reflection, we see our own future. One day, our own creations, our probes, our satellites might drift through alien skies, leaving other beings to wonder who built them and what they were trying to say. Three, I divided by Atlas, reminds us of something deeply human. The hunger to know, to connect, to find meaning beyond our world. Um, it reminds us that even in silence, the universe speaks through light, through geometry, through the harmony of physics itself. The valuable lesson here is one of scientific humility. We must be willing to follow the evidence, even when it leads us away from our comfortable Earth-centric assumptions. The greatest discoveries in history were made by those who dare to question the consensus and look at the anomalies. This object, 3, I divided by Atlas, is the ultimate anomaly. So what do you believe 3, I divided by Atlas really is? Is it a natural formation shaped by cosmic forces we do not yet understand? Or is it an ancient messenger, a piece of technology whispering across the void Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. We must keep this discussion going. And if you believe, as I do, that we must pursue the data without prejudice, subscribe to this channel for more analysis. Because someday we may realize the truth, that the universe has been leaving breadcrumbs for us all along, hidden in plain sight, waiting for our eyes, our minds, and our hearts to be ready. And now, as 3i divided by Atlas drifts away, carrying its beautiful impossible geometry into the darkness, perhaps it's telling us something profound, that intelligence, no matter where it's born, always finds a way to leave a light behind.